Okay, here we are. This is a little spicy glow basil that survived. The one from the seed pack that survived. It looks like it's maybe bolting a little bit. So, that's it for the spicy glow basil. Let me try to just top it here and maybe slow it down a little bit. Mmm. Very good. So here's a plant that seems to be doing okay. This is in the sea soil. A friend of mine, his personal soil that he spends a lot of money on. All kinds of amendments and um, organic fertilizers. And so that says six, six, nine. It was split and put into this pot. And here we go. Cucumbers. Oh, no tag on that one. Dog ripped that one out. Let's look at this guy here. Pepper. Seem to be doing okay. It's not doing as good as I'd like. I don't know if it's we've had a few hot days here. Now it was transplanted 615. HIN is uh, the high nitrogen mix. The powdered organic uh, layer that I put on there. Maybe a teaspoon. And that's soil I-7. So we're going to see how it does in the next few days here. I'm trying to figure out exactly a good soil formula. The one that does the best for which plants. So hopefully I can come up with a better idea of uh, how to mix the soils. I mean, that... It, Things in the pots, I, yeah, with the heat and the black pot absorbing a lot of heat, I'm afraid that could affect the um, the microbe health population, and and but I'm not really sure. I need to do some more research, and I should be monitoring the soil temperatures. Um, yesterday was pretty hot. And oh yes. So yesterday I noticed on this tomato here we already have two tomatoes. Now this one I transplanted uh, just a couple days ago I believe. Where's my sticker? Oh no, yesterday 615 Need to rewrite that. Now this is originally it was in soil F, which this was did really well. Um, here's the plant now, 12 days later, in a bigger pot, and this is the Bonnie Best. From Randazzo's. Very healthy starts. So, kept the momentum up. This is the same one from the same seed pack, I mean, uh, starter pack. And that was in soil G. Did well last video. And continuing to do well now, transplanted in a bigger pot a couple days ago. Dino kale. Soil 03. So, but it's still too early. That was transplanted yesterday. 
it was in the soil sea. This one seems to be pretty healthy. Nice little uh, cluster there. Looks like a little flower. Now let's see what's the history on this guy. Um, a outdoor worm soil, then soil B, C, peat. Oh, it looks like I named it G2. So I wouldn't have to write everything out. It's a G2 soil, seems to be working pretty good. And we'll see, and it's been, uh, when was the date? Uh, just a couple days ago, so we'll look at it after about a week, really determine. Let's try to look at some of these plants that maybe aren't doing so good. So I noticed that the peppers, this one doesn't look so good. I broke this down here because there was two of them, so and it still kind of is going. I just want to have one in here. So. This soil on 6-7, so five days later. And I have to go back and look at the video, what this looked like last time in this soil, soil A. Yeah, soil A hasn't really done so good, so you know, I stopped using that. Um, and that could be why this isn't doing so good, because it just didn't have what it needed and it slowed down its momentum. So I used a peat moss, soil B, and then a, 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 a certain type of worm Vermi compost I had, I called it dark worm. I guess it was really dark. So, um, and these mean they're all equal ratios. If I didn't state half part or two parts, it means they all are equal ratio. So, you know, and it could be something else, but I'm keep an eye on this soil and see if other ones start uh, exhibiting, uh, you know, less health with this soil than we know something's up and and it could just be because of the peppers they just don't do good in this particular soil let me try to find something see these these basils they're not doing so good I mean they were looking a lot better they're getting less green but I think I just transplanted these oh no Actually, see, I don't like that. These leaves should not be yellowing. So, and this is the one part B to, to uh, two part E. It's hard to see. So, um, yeah, something, uh, this, I'm going to have to do something different with this mix here. Let's look at other basils and see if I can see the same thing going on with them. If we have the same uh, soil and the same date. So this one here. 6-4 and this is BDE soil and it, it, it has a little less yellowing maybe. equal parts and, and E is a vermicompost of a more outdoor vermicompost. Uh, D. Um, D is a, uh, um, a vegetable, uh, I made a vegetable uh, compost kind of mix that, uh, I mix peat moss in with it and uh, so it sat kind of all winter. See if that was the difference that we needed for this basil. These were all basils uh, from the same place, the same original source. Okay, this one's a little different, so this one doesn't really count with that. Yeah, this is another one that was just recently. 
recently transplanted.